Everybody calls it what? Sanctuary. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call it, sanctuary. Some customers, they feel so relaxed at our shop, they actually they'll just fall come. Asleep. Yeah, they'll just come to Just sit. to visit. Just to visit and mm -hmm. sit down. And we let them, because that's what we want. You know? you know, we want that homely feel. My name is Charles Baron. This is my wife, Yvonne Baron. We, we own a new flavor in tattoos. We've been open four and a half years. Yeah, We've half. been in D.C. for eight years, and Coco's been tattooing for 21 years. I never used to draw with pencil when I grew up. Everything was with pen. So there's no, you can't make a mistake. When you tell me something, I'm drawing it in my head already. So you could, by the time you finish talking, I already got the drawing on paper. Every time he does a tattoo, I'm very proud of him because he shows off his artistic side on other people's skin. So they're like our living canvases when they walk away. Some people it comes naturally, like you. Me, I'm still working on stick figures. She, she, she acts like she's not an artist in the form, but what she don't understand is that her running the shop in a certain way in an artistic form, she cracks the whip and stuff like that. People <laughs> laugh. She, that's her way, that's her artistic talent. She says what's on her mind. We call it, you ain't got no hand in your tongue. There was this girl that came. She said, yeah, I like a butterfly on my face. I said, do you have a million dollars in your bank account? She said, no. I said, do you have a good job that you make a million dollars a year? She said, no, I don't work at all. I said, then you can't get that tattoo here. Because you ain't never going to get a we job. We want you to beautify <laughs> your body, not ruin your life. I mean, you would never get a job with a big butterfly on your face. Yeah, you, know. you know. Not unless you're Little Wayne. That's what I tell him. And he him. already got money. So. And he got money. Also, we stopped the people that, uh, the young guys come in, yeah, I want my girl's name on my neck. How long you been with her? A week. No, I don't think so. That's not going to happen here. I'd be like, yo, put it somewhere else where I could cover it because you're going to be back next week. And usually they always come back with their heads down. Um, can you cover this? And, you know, it happens all the time. We correct them like a parent. You know, they look at us like, <laughs> but we correct them like a parent. We're like, yo, you, you ain't doing that. You know, and they, they look up to us now. Customers become real good friends. Like, there's and not family. no way I can't go that. We could go anywhere. We go to, uh, let's say, we go to New York. Uh, you got truck drivers. Hey, Cole, yelling from the highway. You still doing tattoos? Yeah. I'll see you later. And, you know, and we got little kids in the neighborhood that draw. So they, they constantly bringing me their drawings. Look what I'm doing now. Look what I'm doing now. Because I told them, uh, art is not just tattooing or graffiti or nothing. Art builds everything. If you didn't have a diagram for that camera, you won't be able to make it. So I'm trying to teach them that it, it's open. It's an open realm. Oh, we're going to expand. We want to make a new flavor yeah. too. We're we just want to make a new the flavor right too. <laughs> yeah. We just, we just looking for artists. the right people. We want to teach the younger generation that by the time we get a little older, they'll be running the shop. Yeah, and I could retire. <coughs> that would be awesome. Definitely. As you can see, I'm the clown. She retired a long time ago. <laughs> I just sit there to sit there. Yeah.